Hi, I'm John, General Manager of Princeton Record Exchange, and today we're going to be talking about one of the rarest records we've ever had in the store. Through the years, we've definitely sold records for a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred, but today I was very excited to see come in Hank Mobley on Blue Note Records, BLP 1568. This record was made in 1957. Amongst the earliest of the Hank Mobleys, he always gets a high price. Great Oris, Bill Hardman, Curtis Porter, Sonny Clark. He'd been recording for about a year, did a couple records for Prestige. Uh, this is, I think, was one of his first, if not his first, Blue Note record. Uh, there have been many reissues through the years. What makes this record so valuable? Well, lots of little things you might not know how to look for. Blue Note records from this time period, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but the address on here is 47 West 63rd. That's going to be on both sides of the label. It also has what's called a deep groove where you can actually insert your finger into here. Um, it's just the way the records were made at the time and it's a good indication of earlier recordings. Um, this one also has no R under the E of the blue note, a sign of a later pressing. It's got an RVG stamp in the runoff uh, when the music adds before the label, which you can't see. It's also called what's called the ear is on there. It's actually a P for plasticine, uh, which was the type of plastic or the vinyl that was made uh, with the records of the time. Uh, on the cover itself, uh, you want to look for the West 63rd address down at the bottom. Uh, this record is in pretty good condition. Um, there is a little bit of damage up on the corner here. I know it seems minor, but for collectors this kind of stuff can make a big difference. It's coming open a little bit on the sides, but overall a really incredible uh, condition for a record that's so old. Uh, the record itself, well it's a little bit dirty right now, you probably can't see it, uh, but we're going to clean it up and take a look at the condition and see what kind of pricing we can get on. So we have our trusty VPI 16.5, we're going to give that a really good scrub get all that dirt and grime for 50 years or so out and uh, we'll take a look at the condition and see what we can do. Okay so we've got her all cleaned up. Uh, overall this record is in excellent shape. Uh, there is one divot right here. Uh, on the other side we have a light little paper scratch. Um, what? How do you price a rare record? Well, this record in auction has gone from $3,000 up to $5,000. I think $3,000 is probably a fairly bit. Uh, it once sold in August, I don't know if you can see that, for $3,150. 23 bids bringing it up on eBay. Um, because of the marks on here, uh, because of the little bit of uh, flocking here on the plastic covering, and because we like to be a little bit reasonable, though I know it sounds kind of funny, uh, we're going to be charging $1,800 for this rarest of jazz records that we've seen in quite some time. So that's about it. Hope you've enjoyed a tour of this extremely valuable record at Princeton Record Exchange. It's early February 2011. If you've got any rare jazz at home that you're looking to sell, or you have any questions at all about this kind of merchandise, feel free to give us a call, 921-0881, or email us. Thanks.